Hello! In this video, I want to share with you a little AI-based helper tool called Whisperer, which I've been using for the past few months to great effect, finding it very useful in a number of different contexts. Basically, it's a Python application that records audio whenever you press a specific key and then sends that audio to OpenAI's Whisper ASR system and then transcribes it and then puts it into whatever your active window is in the computer. So what does that allow you to do? It means you can just talk to your computer and very easily compose emails, random notes, keep a journal, or even code and program by pasting the contents into your IDE. So it's turned into a really fun way of interacting with the computer whilst saving wrists and fingers. And it's also really easy to set up. So let's take a look at the repo. Here on GitHub, we see that the prerequisites for the Whisper uh, package are very simple. We just need Python 3 installed on our computer. And on, in this video, I will be using Windows to demonstrate. And we will need an OpenAI API key. So you do need a account, an account with them, and each request you make to the API does have some tiny cost, uh, the order of a cent uh, or two of, of US dollars. There are some dependencies that you can install, of course, by using Python's pip uh, package manager with this command, pip install, and then the names of the dependencies. On Linux, there's also a command you need to run to install xclip for the pasting process. Setup is very simple. You can clone the repository and it's just the same way that you always uh, clone, uh, clone GitHub repositories. You can go to the top of the page here and, and see the command where you'd go git clone and then this path. You add a file named openai underscore api underscore key dot text in the root directory of the project. And that's where you paste your OpenAI API key to actually allow your program to access your API account. And then you just run the code. So let's see what that looks like once we've... All right, so here we are in my VS Code looking at the repository once we've cloned it from GitHub. We see the files that come out. I've also added the OpenAI API key file we look in there, all that's there is just purely the API key I have. You need to paste your own API key here. I've also added a scratch pad for text purposes. You'll see that there is this Whisper local file in case you want to run Whisper locally on a powerful machine. But I'm using the API version here in this example. We can take a look at the code later, but the key thing here to see is that the command keys, the buttons you want to press on your keyboard are control on the right side of your keyboard to record audio. And that is the button that it will record for as long as you press that button. And then there's another key that allows you to translate the text. In effect, that means if you want to apply another set of rules or, or instructions for OpenAI to run on the text. In this example from the repo, it translates whatever you're talking uh, into uh, Quebec French. So let's run this code, see how it runs. Starting listener. I'll press right control now. Hey, how are you doing? Are you enjoying this video? But well, that was fast and efficient. Let's try translating it. I'll press right control and then right shift. Hey, how are you doing? Are you enjoying this video? And then we get the version in Quebec French. Very, very powerful, very simple and easy. And this can be long. Uh, long test as well. You'll see that it's pasted it here into the comments uh, into my active window. So that's why the scratch pad is useful. I can use this and, and explain. So I can start drafting an email. He, here's my email to you. How have you been doing? We haven't spoken in a while. Um, Happy New Year to you. Let me know how you're doing. Best regards, Mikhail. We send the audio. It translates it. And uh, we get our Quebec French uh, result magically in seconds. It's just incredible. You know, imagine thinking this a year ago. Okay, uh, what I still want to show you is how you can tweak this. So if we go down to about row 137, we'll see that the command given to GPT-4 in this case is here. And of course, you can customize 
what translation or what command uh, you put here. So you could change this to translate stuff into Klingon or anything else, of course, or um, what I like doing sometimes is uh, speaking a little bit uh, more of a fanciful way. So I'll press uh, right control and then right shift to translate. Hello there. I really hope you've been enjoying this video and finding this Whisperer tool valuable. Um, it's absolutely a joy to use and uh, has added a bunch of fun to using computers for me. Um, let me know what you think in the comments and make suggestions for uh, any new videos you might enjoy seeing in this fine year 2024. Thanks for watching. Let's see what we get as a result from our Victorian engine. Hail thee, dear compatriot. Verily do I pine at a pitch most ardent that thine personage has been thoroughly most in euphoria by the spectacle of this Eidolon transmission and locating value immeasurable in the auditor's implement herein employed. Surely it is replete with acceleration in its utilization, having injected vastly into our routine of computation a gargantuan helping of merriment that I may attest. Much to thy likings, I beseech thee, ere thy beliefs in the receptacle designated for contemplative discourse, and do offer into my hands propositions relating to the creation of nascent recordings, thou mightest derive felicity from beholding. Let not the calendar, now recording the year of our Lord, twenty-four and twenty, become a deterrent. In gratitude for thy attentive gaze, I render thee my profoundest appreciation.